Hi folks, in this video I will show you how to make a very powerful LED torch out of an old camera with a beautiful lens. So let's begin with the tutorial. Let's take an old broken camera with a beautiful lens, 75-300mm. Changing the lens will also change the light beam, so this schematic will make you understand better. We can now take apart the back part of the camera body and inside we can already see that we can open and close, focus the lens and everything. But let's see the film that uh, were inside this camera. This is a standard film and we need to measure it using a professional caliber. So it measures 36 by 24 millimeters. Remember 24 millimeters. In fact, I bought this 50 watt LED. This is extremely powerful. It lights up almost 500 watt halogen light. With a caliber, we can measure it and it is 24 by 24. I chose it on purpose. Let's take the back part of the camera and there is a structure that holds the film in place. We need to remove it and instead we can put in place the LED. Make sure to put it exactly in the middle and remember also to move it a little bit forward to keep it in focus with the lens. So I cut two aluminum plates and they have exactly the same dimension of the LED. With a marker we can mark the existing four holes that were on the LED, also on the aluminum plate, and this is the result. We can place these plates inside the back part of the camera. Remember that the base has to be all smooth, so these things has to go away. We can use a small drill to cut them away. Use some sandpaper to remove all the paint, and we need to see the aluminum that is on the base. We do the same thing also on the other side. We can remove the tape and we remove also the remaining glue using some sandpaper and the result has to be like this, all shiny and smooth. I took now some heat sinks from some old PC and the fan also. In this heat sink is very old. This was from a 98 PC and I need, and I need also four holes on the heat sinks base. Let's put together the heat sink on the back side of the camera cap. With a thread, I need to thread the holes I made inside the heat sink. Later, you will understand why. I bought also a thermal paste. This is used on the PC to transfer the heat from the processor to the heat sink. So let's put it on all the components on the aluminum plate, on the camera and on the heat sink and especially on the LED. And luckily I made a little mistake. I put too much thermal paste. So put a little bit less and assemble everything together. So the aluminum plates, the LED, and another aluminum plate. I, I remember I put too much grease thermal paste but it works okay for me. Let's assemble everything inside the camera body. We can put on the other side the heat sink and we using the four screws inside the holes we can secure everything very firmly using a screwdriver so we can squish away also the thermal paste this, that is in excess. I pass some copper cables inside the camera body and I need to solder them on the LED. This on the right is the negative and this on the left is the positive lead. So using a soldering iron I put uh, some solder on top and we can solder the cable in place. As you can see it is a very precise work and we can now put the fan in place and keep it on top. Now we can take apart the remaining parts of the camera. This will, will uh, stop a lot of light, so I suggest you to remove it. And this is the result. We can put now a small switch inside the camera and this hole is just perfect. It, it keeps it in place. We take also a small button and this button can go inside the film holder of the camera and after connecting two wires we can glue it in place under the push button of the camera for triggering the picture. So 
like this. Every time I push the button, I activate it. Let's put some hot glue in place inside the camera body and we can glue in place the button in place so it doesn't move. I took now a 12 volt battery and on the bottom I glue in place this quarter of an inch screw that goes just inside the camera body. We need now a driver to control our, our LED. This, 12 take to, this takes 12 volt and brings them to 74. I connect the wires together in these schematics and I assemble the camera together again. I close everything, I can screw in place the battery on the bottom part of the camera and we can connect now the two wires that goes to the LED and the other wires from the battery to the bottom. Every time I can push the button or I trigger the switch, I activate the LED. Be careful, this LED gets very hot and this, why, this is why I put the fan and the heat sink. Otherwise, if it goes over 70 degrees, it burns out. As you can see, the LED is just in focus to test the lens. For today i hope you enjoyed a thumbs up is always appreciated i leave you with my two past project how to make a xenon underwater torch keep talking about lights today and also how to make a coffee machine inside two old light bulbs see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial ciao ciao